All right. Welcome to Toho No Soul, a type of strategy game. And I thought that before Autumn, which I plan on doing a Fatal Frame 1 through 3 marathon, that we have a little bit of time to pass. And well, there's not much to do at the start of this, so we'll just dive right in. And it should be noted for difficulty that easy is not in fact easy. The difficulty in this game is a little odd because it works through a tier system. So once you feel that you're strong enough, then you move on to like normal and then hard and then lunatic and then extra. Anyway. First challenge in Shrine Maiden and Hecarei. Help you to understand the battle system, steps, Danmaku, and... Alright, well it's just, a, it's just a bunch of tips. We don't need those. On this particular afternoon, the Shrine Maiden of Hecarei, Hecarei Raimu, was tending to her duties by cleaning the shrine. The red mist had already spread for a few days. The plants and the animals were weak and withering. On the contrary, the fairies had become even more aggressive. The Shrine of Hecarei is located around the Great Hecarei Barrier on the eastern side of Gensokyo, so it had been relatively preserved from the mist effects. This weird shrine maiden doesn't really care as long as nobody submits a request asking her to solve the incident. Even though she wants to know where the red mist comes from, she soon forgets about it. After all, she thought it's enough for me to be down some trouble troublemakers. I have some time to clean the donation box before dinner. Visitors will certainly be enraptured by the sight of my beautiful donation box and throw some money in there. What a great idea. Ray Mew. The ordinary magician Marisa has come. There was also a moth in my room. Eh? I thought I saw her around just now. Yikes, there's a weird smell coming out of the shrine. Who's there? Ah, uh, Oh, it's you. Come on, girl, don't frighten me like that. You know, there's definitely some weird smell here. Aren't you bold to suddenly come crashing here? You must be some kind of yokai. Are you prepared to receive your punishment? Spell card fantasy... Wait, wait. Ouch. It hurts. Suddenly hitting me out of nowhere with that broom. Are you okay that doesn't use spell card? I must quickly get rid of you before you scare off the visit. Human. I'm a human, not a yokai, dang it. You said you're human. A human flying on a broom. Regardless, calling me Raimu like we're friends. How rude can you even be? Uh, don't you remember me? Come on, the joke ain't funny. We've solved several incidents together. I don't know you. I'm sure of it. Although for some reason I feel irritated. As if you remind me of someone who gets on my nerves every time. Ugh, oh, your character is so predictable. I'm Marisa, you know. Marisa, the pretty, bold, and super talented magician. Malisa, I know no such person. Besides, what kind of person speaks of herself in such a fashion? Malisa sounds pretty cute, but it's Marisa. M A R I S A. Anyway, Miss Marisa, the magician, you okay? You sorted the floor I just finished cleaning. Choose. Either you clean it up or give me appropriate compensation. I didn't bring any money, so I'll clean it up, alright? And uh, I'll borrow your donation box. Don't get mad. Do it. Remind me to bring some rags and move towards the donation box. Wait, I didn't come here with no reason. I might listen to you once we've done cleaning. Remy starts cleaning the donation box without answering her. Dang, I definitely can't deal with that girl's personality. Ugh, fine, I'll clean your stupid shrine. But seriously, the ear smells so much, how could she not care about it? A while after, Marisa is laying on the floor, exhausted after cleaning the floor. Eh, it seems I'm not good at cleaning at all, in the end. Here, have a drink. You've been working hard. That nice of you... wait, there's only one leaf in this tea. How poor can you even be? I might consider adding one more leaf if you donate money next time. <laughs> Look at that clean, sparkling donation box. You know what to do with it, right? 
Anyways, you've been cleaning the shrine alone all this time? What of it? You mean to help me with that magical broom of yours? Me? Nah, I'm the type that's better creating messes than cleaning them up. Is that so? But your clothes don't even smell. Wait, are you the kind of person who are proper outside and a slob at home? Like never cleaning up and rarely even cooking your own food? But you dress up and act proper in society because you don't want others to find out how dirty your home is? Oh wait, aren't you crazy imagining all those awful things? More importantly, how do you know all this stuff even though I've been trying so hard to hide it all? I've just been imagining you as some manga character, I guess. Mangas? Are we talking about the famous picture books brought from the outside world? Well, those things don't find their way to Gensokia on their own, you know. Some smugglers can bring stuff over to our land. Well, now I know where your mangas come from. Exactly. I helped him go back to his own world, so now he's repaying me back. Of course, the insignificant revenue of the shrine can't keep me alive. The shrine's revenue, eh? Wait, I just noticed that the tea has a weird taste. Well, I think it's so fine to drink it after two to three days. So that's what it was. I'm gonna be sick. Wait, that lone Lee Tea for dancing in my teacup? And why are there suddenly two of them in front of me? A uh, mirage. Curse as I'm hallucinating. Am I dying? I'm dying for sure. Such rudeness. I only brewed the tea three days ago. So according to you, this tea is still fresh, right? Of course it is. Furthermore, the soil in the backyard where the tea is grown is full of nutrients. Sometimes I even eat it myself. Unbelievable. I think it's not money you need, but a good slap in the face to bring you back to your senses. Nobody ever visits anymore. How am I supposed to make money? Life's been hard on you, lady. Oh, I forgot my visitors here. Didn't you notice this weird atmosphere? Of course I did. Some weird black and white witch suddenly fell from the sky and dropped mud on my floor. It is indeed a troublesome yokai. Well deserving to be exterminated. Seriously? I'm talking about the mist. The red mist is what's weird. The red mist? Come on, Gensoki has been going mad while you're lazing around. Eh, but I didn't notice anything wrong. Maybe because the shrine is such an isolated area. You don't even see what's happening. Isn't solving incidents your job? You mean that I have to deal with the red mess? I can't. I can't believe that the shrine maiden of Hecarae just said that to my face. My task is to exterminate troublesome yokais. Everything will be resolved naturally once the extermination is complete. If you get your brain back, you'll realize that exterminating yokai doesn't all there is to your job. Hm, I'm just human, you know. Don't expect me to solve every single incident like some unstoppable hero. Ugh, I was such an idiot to think I'd be useful to ask you for help. Your evaluation of yourself is spot on, I believe. Anyway, let's just solve the incident together. We can't let this red mess spread forever. I shall solve it myself. But only if you can demonstrate to me that it's actually an incident. Come on, isn't that obvious? Can't you feel it? The fairies have gone crazy. The plants are withering. And we can't even dry our clothes because the sun's barely visible. This dress I'm wearing is my last one. I can't even go outside tomorrow because all my other dresses smell. Speaking of which, you, uh, how am I supposed to tell you this? What's the matter? Spill it. I noticed when I came here, you and your shrine. You, you both suck. What? Impossible. It is. I'm 100% sure they. Remy, you didn't dry your laundry. Ugh. The daylight hours are so short lately, I don't even know anymore. You might have gotten used to it, but the whole area sucks. Nobody wants to visit a horrible shrine. Is that so? I was still wondering why nobody visited. It's because of the red mist. Visitors can't go outside, and even if someone comes here, they will leave after encountering this weird smell. I understand, so the visitor will be back after I exterminate the one responsible for this red mess, is that it? That's not the issue here. I will have no mercy for the villain who ruined everyone's peaceful life with the red mist. Militia. Do you know who the culprit is? It's Marisa, dang it. Don't forget it so easily. It's not so obvious, but some fairy told me that the lake looks suspicious. Yeah, I can clearly see the heavy red smog hovering above the lake. Well, we are ready to go then, but before that... Nil soul Creation. What happened? What did you just do to me? 
What's that thing in your hand? And what was that weird light illuminating me? And where the heck did you take it out from? That thing. Uh, don't, don't worry about it. How can I not worry? Explain. You're so bothersome. Alright, I'll tell you, but I won't repeat myself, so listen up. A long time ago, one man came here after being spirited away. He was a little special. How so? He was so powerful that whenever a yokai attacked him, he easily beat it down. That man was looking for a way to go back to the human world, so I did that and sent him back. But wasn't he a scary strong dude? Why didn't you go to the trouble of sending him home? Well, in fact, he just hated to be attacked for no reason, but otherwise he was a fine gentleman. When he left, he gave me a gift for my trouble. What the heck is this? Can't you just give me money? Is what I was about to say. He said it was a precious item, and that he would love to buy it back for me. He also upgraded it. That way, anyone can use it. The owner of Corindo. Ugh, that guy. He'd hoped that I could use it to defeat Yokai. I just used it, so I think I should thank him later. He isn't living far from here. Why don't we make a short detour? We don't actually have to do that. He installed some weird functions in my exorcism orb, so that we can't talk to each other from far away. Hey, he's the same as usual, that nerd. You seem quite familiar with him. Well, when I first met him, he was just a kid. Shucks, now I feel old. I won't comment on the last part. I never actually tried to use it, so I'll give it a go. Well, I'm curious to see it in action. Alright, your turn now. Come on out, exorcism orb. Right, we're manifested an item. My, my, that's exactly what my master wanted. Your master? Who's that? Uh, f forget about it. Is that so? Not many people would attempt to try and steal it. I can count them on one hand. Not a single one of them is a good person, to be honest. What? How could you say that about Master? Huh. The nerve. Coming from someone who eats long expired food and even dirt every single day. How could you even understand what a normal girl worry about her weight after eating sweets? A weirdo like you. Huh. Sweets. Yes. I like them too, but I can't afford them anyway. Such a pitiful girl. She loves sweets so much she's already drooling just talking about them. It can't hurt to bring her some cake or candles next time I visit. Anyway, we should contact Corrin. I really want to know how your item works. Let's do it. If I remember well, it should be like this. Hello. Minasuke, this is Remu. Can you hear me? Eh? Something just talked, right? Or am I just hearing things? I shouldn't work so much. Minasuke? Good God! Is that you, Lady Remu? Yes, it is. Please don't yell into it. It's supremely annoying. I'm sorry, I'm using it for the first time. Wait, I'm trying to take it out of the cellar. It's stuck amongst the pile. Please do. Yo, Karen, how are you doing? Marisa, it's nice to hear you. So you're there too, aren't you? I understand. Yep, I'm solving the incident with Remu. It's tough, Karen. It's so tough. I'm sorry, we haven't even begun. How, how do you even know it's Marisa? Well, obviously, she's the only one who calls me Corin. Well done, Corin. that's me, your favorite magician. You realize it's my privilege to call you that way, right? <laughs> yes, yes I do. Okay, let me just plug the power here, then here we go. There, it should work now. Can you see me? Ooh, this is Corin in here. Amazing. What the? Martin Shika Renasuke, stay right where you stand. You better wait for me. I'm on my way to kill you on the spot, you... <laughs> What's up with that? Calm down, lady. No need to start yelling. Your face is all red. Lady Raimu, are you okay? What happened? Why are you mad? Get my exorcism orb fixed. I'm afraid I don't get it. What are you talking about? Did you see what you have done to my orb? It's disgusting. I didn't take you for such a repulsive person. Because while I sleep, while I bathe, while I do stuff, I have it with me all the time. Oi, Corrin, how dare you, you pervert? I'll kill you so bad you end up dead. Ladies, please calm yourself. Indeed, with this item we can see each other face to face, but I need your permission. Lady Raymu hasn't even used the function before. 
Therefore, it is impossible for me to have ever spied on you with the item until the moment. His name is also Rena Sukem. Alright. I don't care. Fix it now. I'm about to crush your head on your desk. Also, you'll be compensating me for the mental damage I sustained. I'll take some cash off of you immediately. Hmm, indeed. This is entirely my fault. Allow me to apologize and properly compensate you for this error. Let's see. After you deal with this incident, how about I invite you to get some sweets at the shop? Sweets? Did you just say sweets? Well, I shall forgive you this time, but don't mess with my sacred items ever again. Oi, what about me? What do you mean? Raimi is my best friend, and I had to watch her suffer the stain of her honor as a maiden. That ordeal broke my heart, Daze. If you want to eat sweets and run a circuit by half, you can just say so. I understand. Please come join us too, Marisa. Yay, I love you so very much, Corin. You're spoiling her way too much, you know that? I'm afraid this is the lesser evil. If I refuse her anything, she's just going to borrow my goods again. Come on, Corin, you'll never do that, because we're friends. Indeed. With a yokai. More importantly, I've just used that item on Marisa. Good. Regarding the subject, I have something new I need to tell you. You can call this thing Nil Soul, right? Oh wait, wrong voice. Exactly. After you left the Nil Soul with me, I experimented on it and the results were highly interesting. You've got my interest, what about it? I found that Nil Souls are some kind of excessive energy produced from people targeted by this spell. They can be used to strengthen weapons or unlock latent abilities. Unlock latent abilities. When I was trying to fix your weapon, I found through sheer luck that Nilso could fix it and give it new properties. It also sped up the reparation process. A really convenient thing, I must say. New properties? May I think of it as a power-up? I wouldn't call it a power-up, to be honest. Because every time you use Nilso to improve your weapon, the result is randomized. To sum it up, it comes down to RNG. I need more samples to further experiments. Once I find the rules of the evolutions, it will be great progress. In fact, I could use it to make a breakthrough on other ones. Gotcha, so basically we beat up yokai, collect souls, send them your way. Do I get a full mark? You pass. How should we send it your way though? Too much of a hassle to send it to your place every time. Regarding this, I have something interesting for you. Here, have a look. Rabbit Horn Express. A few days ago, the little card found its way to my letterbox. This pyramid logo is of human design, I believe. So, what about it? Here's the deal. You call their number, they can send anything, anywhere in Gensokyo. And... Using this device, we can exchange items very swiftly. Does such a convenient thing really exist? I don't need to send things to your home, then. Yes, and after everything is done, I'll use this to send you your favorite mangas from the human village. Well, never mind that. Whatever, I'll use the Rabbit Horn Express to send things your way. I'll be counting on you, Lady Remu. Ding! Welcome to my humble shop. I'll be here in a minute. I'm sorry, a customer has come. Talk to you later. Alright, we're gonna start our investigation. See you later. Please be safe. Beep. Anyway, let's move on now. But before that, I have to ensure that you know about battles under the spell card rule. Why, well, I want me to test now of all times. No complaining about it. I can't bring someone useless along. You would risk much worse than being knocked out. Follow me. Uh, I've made a huge progress since we came back from Makai. I'll take you on easy peasy, lady. We shall see. Here would do just fine. This place kind of feels like it was made for fighting. Hey, this place is devoted to the Shrine Festival. You better not break my stuff. Ara, uh, you know, I can't make no such promises. Remember that my motto is it ain't magic if it ain't flashy. Jeez. <laughs> I forgot how much dialogue this game has. That really didn't need to have as much dialogue as it did. Now we can actually get into the game. Okay, let's see what I can remember about this. The closer you are to the boss, you do more damage. The further back you are, you take less damage, and it's also harder to do damage to the boss. Anyway. What does this do? It's a healing. Yeah, did they? I forget what you call that. I think it's called Reiki. Yeah, it's Reiki. Alright, well, we'll start with that, then. Yeah, no, strikey. Oh, yep, here comes the bullets. Now, luckily, on higher difficulties, 
it does kind of have a progressive difficulty where the harder it is, more things do happen environmentally, which is actually kind of a cool little feature. Strike you. Ooh. And the less people you have means that you don't have to worry about as much turns passing, so these things can only travel one at a time. And then Master Spark, let's do it. Superior damage. And you can also click on the character over here so that you can kind of get an idea of like, based on their health bar, what stages that they use certain abilities at. So obviously step three is when things are really gonna get bad. But she has a zero on all of those, so she can use pretty much all of her abilities for the, every turn. Need more Raikou though. Uh-oh. Well, that one's gonna hit me. Ow. Hmm, all right. Move over here then. What does this do? Collects all loot. Uh, alright, well that's not, I don't... Some of these have the ability to get rid of orbs around you. I don't think that one does. It'd be better to just do damage. Whoa. They have a certain pattern to them too. So, oh, that, that would be nice to get. That's Fantasy Seal coming out. Ow. Unfortunately, I'm kind of trapped where I'm at. Uh, normal attack. I'll be fine. Raiki. It's over. You're before she unleashes her Omni Demon Hunt. And there we go. Enough, you pass. Nothing to write home about, but it's better than nothing. Uh, come on, this ordinary magician here beat you fair and square. How about some praises? Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. I'm impressed. Seriously, I'm made. Never seen anything like this. Go, 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 Malisha. Yeah, right. How mature of you. You seriously aren't cute. You've done well, too, Lil Raimu. Shut up. Let's not waste any more time and be on our way. Raimu left the place with a firm step. So, you don't need that turtle to fly anymore. I never really needed it. Flying's no big deal. You know normal people can't fly, right? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Raimi suddenly increased her speed, leaving her behind. Yay, yay, she's so powerful, but that personality of her, what a waste. Anyway, it's my turn to shine. You better brace yourself, evil doers. This ordinary magician Kurosami Marisa is coming to master spark your butt all the way to the moon, Zay.